Good morning, guys. Welcome to, what are we on, 124, I think? I don't know, July 1st. We are cruising through the summer here, almost to the 4th. Hope all of you have some cool plans lined up. I'm not going to be doing anything special. My dog's deathly afraid of fireworks, so this time of the year really sucks, especially with the stupid rednecks on the street that'll go snag them, you know, the three for one, and they'll be setting them off every night for the next freaking month. So we got her a little thunder shirt, which is really cool if you have pets that are scared of anything like that. Uh, we use it when, or the wife uses it when she trims her nails. It really does work. It wasn't cheap. I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. It's basically like a saran wrap for your dog or cat, I guess. And it goes around, it's got Velcro, and it's like a, a spandex kind of material or a neoprene. And it just hugs them like they're being gently squeezed. It wraps all around their body and around their chest and just immediately gives at least Chloe comfort and she just falls asleep in it. She's like, oh. So you can, you know, calm them down, whatever they're scared of, just put them in that and seriously, within a minute, they're nice and calm and sleepy. So definitely check a Thunder shirt out if you need any kind of support like that for your pet. Big plug there. So uh, we've caught a little break in the rain. It's going to be like this for the next several days. we got a big system kind of blowing through the Gulf. Typical summer stuff, you know, that's good. We need all the rain we can get. I'm not complaining whatsoever. So I'm going to go for a ride here, see how wet I can get on the bike. Uh, some more good and bad news today. The bad news is I really have to go shopping for some clothes now. Because the good news is I have more stuff that I just noticed yesterday I can't wear. As in, uh, I'm down to like two pairs of jeans, a couple pairs of dress pants, and I think two pairs of shorts left. Really sucks because my favorite clothes I, I literally can't wear out of the house. They fall off just like trying to go get the mail. My shorts are be at my ankles if I try to wear them out of the house. So it was the 40s that were falling off and now it's the 38s that are starting to do it. So that's cool I guess, you know, not really complaining there, but uh, kind of running out of stuff to wear. So, and I mean, shirts like this, this is a polo t-shirt I've had forever, and, you know, it's just huge and baggy now, and, you know, it's an XL, I, I've worn XL or double XL for a long time, and now the larges, which, when I started HLO, you know, they were snug, and then a couple months into it, they looked fitted, and now the larges are even kind of like, uh, they got some gaps growing, I mean, they're still comfortable, but, you know, they're not snug at all anymore. So I'm still losing. It's coming off very evenly, though, still. I, my target areas, they're still proportionately bigger, like my belly. But I am losing inches. Um, you know, I'm still getting comments from people that haven't seen me in a while or are watching my cigar videos and they haven't seen one in a couple months. They'll just out of the blue, you know, give me a comment like, whoa, did you lose some weight or something? You know, so it's still noticeable. It's still incredibly hard for me to see because I see myself every day. Like, hey, right here, hi. But uh, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, I've got another of the networking meetings that I regularly go to for ABC, and I'll be shooting this one, so I won't see any photographs of myself like I did last time. That's how I really noticed it last month. But, um, so yeah, that's about it. Today is just another uh, normal work day. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I get caught up on my phone calls and emails already, so that's why I can go for a ride right now. It's about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, something like that. Mail's not here yet, so it's not that late in the afternoon, whatever time it is. I just got a normal bunch of house crap to do later. Cleaning, it's garbage day, got to do some laundry, dishes, you know, all that BS. So, that's it. Let's go for a ride. I think I'll go backwards today. Mix it up.
dark out. Oh, even though it's really humid, the sun's not out because it's still overcast. That made it actually really nice. Not too much of a breeze out, but ooh, I am pouring in sweat. Oh, I remembered finally this time to put air in my tires. It had been feeling kind of squishy, and it's kind of hard to tell because the tires are so big when they're low or not just by looking. But they were low. They are down to about 15, 20 pounds. <clears throat> I felt it was kind of sluggish, especially the last time I was out, so I kept forgetting to do it when I get back. You know, I'd only notice when I'm out riding, but I remembered before I went out this time, so I pumped them back up. I'll tell you, these Schrader valves, not Schrader valves, these Presta valves, pain in the butt compared to Schrader valves. They pump up so slowly because they're such a tiny little diameter valve. It takes me a good three, four minutes per tire just to pump it up, and you don't get that much pressure out of the pump. It sits there, and because it's so small, it goes in so slowly. Psh, pump. Psh, but with the Schrader valves, man, it just you know pours right in. And I could at least use my, com my electric compressor with that, but oh well. I'm surprised how often I have to do it, too. You know, I, I maybe pumped my old tires back in the day up once a month, and they would only lose five, six, seven pounds, somewhere in there. These suckers are losing 10, 15, 20 pounds a month. So I don't know if it's the seal on the tire to the hub that's different, or the valve, or, you know, maybe the compounds are just different these days, and the air is leaking out faster through the rubber. I don't know. But it's a lot different, a lot more maintenance than they used to be. So yeah, that was an interesting ride. Sorry the video got cut off there. I got a phone call somewhere in the middle, so it stops the video. You know, it might be up, might be worth it to get an iPod Touch just to use as a second device for filming video. I think they do video at least. I'll have to read up on it. They're not that expensive because there's no phone in it. You know, it's basically like an iPhone 5 without the phone. But I'll I'll check into that. Might be something to help out with. You know, just filming all these projects and whatnot anyway. Uh, and as you saw, I almost got run over by one of our Florida's finest driving dead, where the state motto is, if you can breathe, you can drive, literally. They will renew by mail without an exam for 10-year spreads. That's lovely Florida. That's why every single week down here in the news, old farts slammed right through a restaurant or into the post office or into a building because they hit the wrong pedal. Every single week, at least one, guaranteed down here. That is just the norm. It's absolutely ridiculous. Or, you know, old fart goes wrong way on expressway and takes out five cars. It's just, it's just ridiculous. They, you can be 95 years old, blind in one eye, Alzheimer's, and you can still drive your battle axe Cadillac wherever you want to in Florida legally. Absolutely ridiculous. They have no testing. And any time legislature is put into place, they put a bill out there to start testing these old farts, Oh my God, the, the stupid political organizations like AARP and whatnot, they will bus all of the old farts from their retirement communities to the polls and get it shot down. It's, there's just way too many of them down here to pass anything anti-senior citizen, no matter how normal of a bill it might seem. So we're just outnumbered down here. You just got to watch yourself. You know, in other states, it's illegal immigrants, unlicensed drivers, as they say. And there's a small problem around here, at least, with unlicensed drivers. It's worse over in Miami. Of course, you know, there's a big illegal population in Miami. There really isn't that much here in Tampa. We don't have any kind of, you know, agricultural trade or any construction trade anymore where we have big droves of uh, people looking for work because there isn't any work. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. But I know in other parts of the country that's a big problem. But around here, it's the old farts. That is our big problem down here. And some of the snowbirds, you know, they, the saying is, if you see a plate with an O from Ohio or Ontario, stay the heck away because they are likely to cause an accident. And it's unfortunately just true. It's really bad around here. I, I would venture to say there is no other part of the country like this strip of the Florida coast from Tampa down to... Naples. Uh, it's just snowbird, old fart, dying dead, driver central. Anyway, on with the day. Didn't mean to go off on a rant. <sighs> yep, yeah, shower time, work time. See you guys tomorrow.